I'm Erica, Land Manager for Denman Conservancy. Together with Wildlife Preservation Canada, we want to help ensure the future of the Taylor's Checker Spot Butterfly. What is a Taylor's Checker Spot Butterfly? Taylor's Checker Spot is a small, orange, black and white checkered butterfly that was formerly common on BC's south coast. It was once found from Vancouver Island as far south as California, but today is only known to live and breed in two locations in BC and a few locations in Washington and Oregon. Here on Denman Island, it's seen in the spring in open meadows and shallow wetlands. Like many butterflies, Taylor's checker spots live as caterpillars for most of the year, almost 10 months. These caterpillars eat wild, weedy speedwells and plantains, not garden plants. So they're friends in the garden. We see the butterflies in May and early June. They mate and lay eggs during that time. The eggs hatch into caterpillars which grow and molt several times before going into hibernation around August. In early spring, February or March, the caterpillars wake up, eat a little bit more, and then pupate before transforming into a butterfly around April or May. Taylor's checker spots are one of the species associated with Gary Oak ecosystems. Gary Oak meadows were created through the traditional cultivation practices of First Nations. Since early colonial times, many Gary Oak species have declined dramatically, including Taylor's checker spot. Before their discovery in a Denman Conservancy conservation area in 2005, butterfly specialists thought that the species was gone entirely from Canada, since it had disappeared from its last known home on Hornby Island. Interestingly, some Denman Islanders recall seeing the butterflies before 2005, and in 2005 they were officially recorded on Denman and recovery work here began. In 2008, there was even a Canada postage stamp made to commemorate the Taylor's checker spot. How can the butterfly be identified? When can they be seen? Taylor's checker spots fly during May and the first half of June. Where do they fly? They fly, mate, and lay eggs in wet meadows where there are speedwell or plantain plants for the future caterpillars to eat. But they can also be seen nectaring in flower gardens. What do they look like? They're small, with a wingspan of only 3.5 to 4 centimeters. Their wings are checkered orange, black, and white on the top, but only orange and white on the underside. They can be seen flying or basking on plant stems and woody debris, or nectaring on many common wildflowers, such as wild strawberries, trailing blackberry, and western buttercup. Are there butterflies that look like them? Yes. There are several other butterflies that could be confused with Taylor's checker spots. Melita crescent, Arctic skipper, Hidaspe fritillary, satyr anglewing, two-banded checkered skipper, and purplish copper. A useful ID guide is available from the Gary Oak Ecosystems Recovery Team. So what's been done to help them? Various recovery efforts have been undertaken in BC and in the US for Taylor's checker spot. Details on recovery initiatives can be found on the DCA website. How can you help? Taylor's checker spot is a butterfly that many Denman landowners have known and enjoyed over the years, and they were common on North Denman from 2005 to 2010. You can help protect them into the future by keeping appropriate habitat where you live and planting the things that they need. While researchers have learned a lot, there are still some unknowns. Where do the caterpillars go in winter, and what kinds of conditions help them survive the winter months? What are the best methods for maintaining or restoring habitat for all life stages? Your help in identifying where Taylor's checker spots live will contribute to answering these questions and others. So, is there a Taylor's checker spot in your field? Some points to remember. Taylor's checker spot is a small orange, black, and white checkered butterfly which could be confused with some other species on Denman. So learn to tell these apart and whenever possible, try to get a photo. It flies from May to mid-June. It is found in wet fields that have the right kinds of plants, like speedwell or plantain, and can be seen nectaring in gardens. Keep in mind that the butterflies, larvae, and egg masses could be right under your feet. They're very fragile, so take great care if you think you might be walking where they live. We would like to thank members of the Recovery Implementation Group for Taylor's Checker Spot in BC, as well as local landowners who support Taylor's Checker Spots on their lands everywhere. If you'd like to help identify Taylor's checker spots and participate in their recovery, get in touch. And happy checker spotting.